Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at verb patterns and specifically verbs that can be followed by the preposition at. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said before the lesson began, today we are looking at verbs that we use with the preposition at or verbs that are followed by this particular preposition. Now I've got one, two, three groups of verbs on this whiteboard and I'll clean this off afterwards and put another two sets of verbs that we can also follow with at. Now group number one is go on, laugh, scream, snap, shout, swear, and yell, okay? And all of these verbs are ways that we can talk unpleasantly to somebody, okay? So we can laugh at somebody, we can scream at somebody, we can snap at somebody, we can shout, we can swear, we can yell, we can go on at somebody about something, okay? So it gives us the sense that we're talking to somebody in an, in an unpleasant nature. The examples, what are you laughing at, okay? Or why are you laughing at me? Did I say something funny? And please stop shouting at me, okay? Stop shouting at me or stop yelling at me. Now, the other ones are fairly clear, laugh, scream, shout, swear, yell. But snap, if you're not familiar, snap means that you react angrily towards something. Somebody says something and you snap at them, okay? You react angrily and uh, with, uh, with angry language. You snap at them. And if you go on, it means that you, you go on uh, criticizing or you go on complaining about something or you go on telling somebody something that perhaps they don't want to hear or you go on at somebody uh, about something, okay? You, you criticize them, perhaps you abuse them, you go on at them about something. Now, the second group is, this is in two parts here. So we've got grin, smile, wave, and wink, okay? Now, these one, two, three are facial expressions. So you grin, you smile, you know what that is. You wink at somebody, and you wave. So that's like a gesture. You wave at somebody, okay? And the next ones here, glance, glare, look, and stare, are ways that we Use our, use our eyes to look at people. So we glance at something. We glare at somebody. We look at something and we stare at something, okay? He's been staring at me for five minutes. Who's that person waving at us? You see somebody waving at you down the street. Hello, somebody waving at you. Group number three, grumble, scoff, protest, hit out, lash out, okay? So you grumble at someone, you scoff at them, you protest at something, you hit out at, and you lash out at, verbally. They scoffed at my ideas. I told them an idea, they laughed at me. They scoffed at my ideas. They didn't respect my ideas. They didn't think that they were good ideas. They scoffed at them. Fans protested at high ticket prices. The ticket prices were raised. The fans protested at that increase. She hit out at her critics. She verbally hit out at them. Hit out also means to physically hit out. And this one also can also be physical, hitting out or lashing out. But here it means verbally. So you lash out at somebody. You hit out at your critics. If somebody's criticizing you, you hit out at them. 
you scoff at ideas, you protest at something, and you grumble at something. Okay? We can use all of those ones. Now I'm going to clean the board and come back with two more uh, verb sets that we can use with the preposition at. I'll see you in. Okay, back again. Now, group number four aim, fire, come, rush, shoot. Ways that we can attack people. Examples, they took aim at the enemy with the gun. They took aim at the enemy. He came at me from behind. I was attacked from behind. I was walking. Somebody attacked me. He came at me from behind. The police fired at the protesters. The police fired at the protesters. Not real bullets, hopefully. Rubber bullets. They fired, bang, at the protesters to get them to disperse. Okay, so aim, fire, come, rush, shoot, rush. Similar to they rushed at us. They rushed. And the last ones are guess, hint, and point. Again, used with at. Take a guess at the answer. Take a guess at the answer. Okay. It's rude to point at people. Pointing at people. Ah, look at him. It's rude to point at people. And Ronaldo hinted at a possible move to, who knows, he hinted at a possible move to another club. He hinted. He insinuated. He gave the idea that that could possibly happen. He hinted at it. Okay. He didn't say it directly, but he hinted that there was a possibility. Okay. He hinted at the possibility. Now, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave it in the section below. Remember to share the video on social media, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, whichever your social media form of choice is. Please share the video and I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a good day. Bye.